Welcome to My Dream Home with Jody Hinkle. On My Dream Home, we'll help you find your dream home or turn your house into the home of your dreams. Learn about the properties, products, and services that will make that dream a reality. Brought to you in part by Railyard, upscale urban offices for sophisticated professionals. And Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. I'm excited to welcome to the show Sue Hayes. Now, Sue, you have a wonderful event coming up. Tell us about it and tell us what your position is. Well, I'm the chair of the uh, Marana Chamber Green Committee, which we started about a year and a half ago, and we're having a big event on November 7th. And it's called the Big Green Marana Event, and it's where all things green are going to come together. We're trying to pull in the communities, from around, everyone who's in the green community, um, and put them in one place so that they can get to know each other as well as educate the public. We're going to have so much fun. We have a big kids tent. We're going to have Tesla and um, Pags bringing alternate vehicles and um, uh, hypnotists and just entertainment and festivals and lots of green uh, local businesses. How did the idea come about? Well, I went to a mixer and I was speaking with the, the membership director at the chamber, Marana Chamber, and um, we decided to do put on a green panel for Earth Day. And it ended up being a little bit later, but a committee was formed and the excitement was just incredible. And we decided to do an event and that is going to be Saturday on November 7th. So Sue, tell me who are your major sponsors? Well, we are one of the major sponsors. Um, TEP is our title sponsor, very supportive of Green, as you probably know. And then we have Fairfax Companies, which should, they do organic compost, where we take all of our green waste and they turn it into beautiful, rich soil. And then the town of Marana is sponsoring us, as well as the Chamber of Commerce in Marana, our major sponsors. And it's a great time for that. I mean, I can think of not too long ago where it wasn't a concern, but it seems like oh. now it's more top of mind for folks. It really is. I mean, you know, growing up in the 70s, I'm an old hippie, you know, I had a Volkswagen van. Cool. So it was all about peace, love, and our Mother Earth. And, you know, we still share one planet globally. And this is really a global conversation, but change starts at the local level. So, you know, I thought Moran was a great home to start. Um, this effort. So folks that at home that want to find out more about the event, how can they do that? Well, we have a Facebook page. It's The Big Green Marana Event on Facebook. And then we also have a hashtag, BGE15. Where is it going to be held at? It's at Crossroads Park, which is um, Cortero between the Santa Cruz River and Silver Bell. It'll be well signed. Um, and we look forward to seeing lots of people there from all over Tucson and Marana and everywhere. Well, thank you so much oh, for being on the show. Thank you so much, Jody. It was a pleasure. I'm very happy to welcome to the show Andrew Hayes, Operations Manager with Hayes Construction. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having us. Tell us about Hayes Construction. Uh, so we're a, we're a general contractor here in town. Uh, we've been here for about 31 years. And uh, we, we specialize in custom homes and the truly custom homes, um, large remodels and additions. And uh, what we really specialize in though is green building and, and what that does for the community. Definitely, and you guys are really one of the innovators of that when it comes to this local area. I know that uh, we were talking before this and your parents, it's something that's always been important to them. I know it's more in vogue nowadays but they've always had that consciousness when it comes to green, is that right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they, they tried to uh, adopt some of the gray water harvesting uh, systems into their house 20 year, 30 years ago, and, um, and the, the county wouldn't let them do it at that time, and now it's something that, that they're kind of requiring for builders to put into houses. So. so they were really thinking ahead at the time. Yeah, exactly. So that's something thinking about if you're going to build a home, the different things that you can do to really be environmentally conscious. What are some of the things that you guys look at? Uh, it, it all starts from, from what the lot that you're picking is, what, what you're selecting, and, and its orientation uh, related to the sun and, and its location related to other uh, public utilities and, and things like that. Um, starts from there, and then when we move in, we, we take a look at, at the building as a system and, and as a whole instead of piece by piece. Um, so. Uh, if we affect something by, by doing an advanced framing technique, how is that going to affect the rest of the house? And in most cases, these new green ideas that we're putting forward and, and using in these houses are, uh, are not just, they're not just affecting one thing in a green way, 
um, they're affecting multiple things down the road, making a, the whole house a, a better product in the end. Definitely, it all adds up, right? It's having that plan from the beginning so that at the end of the process, it is going to be the most energy efficient possible, I best you bet using the best materials as well. Right, exactly. And the thing is that just because it's a green home doesn't mean that it's uh, inferior in any way. I bet in some ways it's very superior, right? right? Right, yeah, there's new techniques and stuff that are coming out now that we can reduce the amount of wood and the amount of material that we're putting in a home and it's actually stronger than, it, than uh, they, they've been in the past. So, um, so it's a pretty neat, neat time for us, for sure. Now, one of the things I know that uh, I've seen a lot lately is like radiant barriers and things like that. How important is that to you guys when you're looking, say, to build a home this way? Right. Yeah, like I said, when we build a home, we, uh, we look at it as a whole. And, and if uh, we, we put the systems together and make sure that they work well together, um, there's things with radiant barriers. And if you put those in, you want to make sure not to have your insulation in contact with them because it ru ruins the radiant effect. The, the barrier effect there. So um, so, that, so if we're gonna do one thing, we make sure not to do the other, or, or we make it so that the system all works well together as a whole. See, I've never heard that before. I don't, I'm sure a lot of the folks in the audience didn't know that as well. Right. You know, even though the, you are using these types of products, you get the most out of them because you install them the correct way and get the maximum uh, benefits out of it. Right, exactly. Well, I think that, you know, if you're gonna build a house nowadays, it's best to make it as, energy efficient and as green as possible and you guys can help people do that right. um, so for the folks at home that want to contact you guys to you know talk about building them a new home what's the best way to do that um, you'd give us a call at 297-9643 uh, or you can visit us at our website at uh, hayesconstructiontucson.com excellent well thank you so much for being on the show thank you I'm excited to welcome to the show Jack Eversall from Connecticut. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Jody, for having me. Well, tell us a little bit about Connecticut. Well, Connecticut is an all-American company that was founded way back in May of 1970 in Cleveland, Ohio, by two engineers who taught at Case Western University. Connecticut is an all, the only patented twin alternating non-electric water softener available on the market through all 50 United States and nearly 100 different countries around the globe. Interesting, and what's good about that is I know you guys are a green product and you guys participate in a lot of those green type events. That is correct. Because we are a non-electric system that runs on water pressure, we don't waste a valuable resource like electricity. We use a lot less water to clean and regenerate our Connecticut systems with. So your body, when you're drinking it, won't ingest as quite as much as a standard electric system would. So it's better for you, better for the environment, and keeps your utility rates low. And your home. Yeah. Because everybody comes home, they take a shower, they do laundry dishes, they get itchy, dry skin, they complain about eczema, psoriasis, dryness of the skin, the uh, white buildup on the glasses, the silverware, the plates, and this product here will help rid that problem. That's fantastic, because I know that's one big problem that we have here in Arizona in general, is our hard water and the fact that all of that collects on everything. And and the fact that you have that actually helps your products last longer, right? That is correct, because what do we use in the house more than anything else on a day-to-day -day basis is water. And the water flows through the water heater and all the calcium collects in the bottom. So every time the customer goes to take a shower and the water heats up, they're heating up rock before they heat up the water. Henceforth, you're gonna save on your energy bill, heck, three, four, five dollars a month normal for an average family of four. So Jack, I understand that you guys have the number one drinking water station. That is correct, Jody. The Connecticut K5 drinking water station, patented through Connecticut, is rated number one in Consumer Report year after year. That will give you the healthiest purified water for both you and your family, both at the kitchen sink and refrigerator. But what's really unique, it eliminates the need of buying bottled water at the grocery store. You know, you probably go in the grocery store a couple times a week, right, Jody? I definitely do. And you probably buy bottled water occasionally? We do. And you probably sit there and you take one bottle, you look at another and look at another and go, what am I drinking? Well, we take the guesswork out of it because the Connecticut Drinking Water Station will provide up to 99 0.99999% purified water to you and your family continuously. That's really cool. And the other thing that's cool about that is you're saving and going green by saving all of those bottles. Oh, that and a lot less wastewater because Connecticut uses far less water to manufacture a gallon of water. But we always like to make the last bottle of water that you buy at the store the last one you actually buy. And now you're with Connecticut. 
So for the folks at home that want to schedule a time for you to come out, What's the best way for them to get in contact with you and find out more about Connecticut? That's exactly right, Jody. You can give us a call at 520-293-6687 or just look for the number underneath the screen. Now, they can also go to the website, right? That's right. You can go to ConnecticutAZ.com. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you, Jody. Appreciate it. Happy to welcome to the show Art Leon from Arizona Luxury Lawns and Greens. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Tell us about your company. Well, Arizona Luxury Lawns and Greens, we specialize in artificial turf and putting greens, field applications, residential or commercial. Uh, we've been in Tucson for three years now and been in the state for 10. Um, that being said, we only sell Made in America products and we're very proud of the work we've brought to Tucson. I've seen your work and it's great. And one of the things I really enjoy about your products is it, it would save me money on utilities you know my water bill is outrageous right. and it looks green year-round that's right that's right so there's obviously the huge savings there the average return on investment for a customer takes no more than three to four years and then that's not counting the maintenance the countless hours of watering and mowing the lawn so you're obviously going to save a lot of money save a lot of time out there and just enjoy your lawn as you're supposed to and that's huge i mean especially nowadays we're all so conscious about being green you know, saving on resources. And one of the biggest green savings is our financial side, right? We're not spending right. that money. Right, so I mean, we have to look at the financial side. We also have to look at what's happening in the environment. We're obviously in a drought in the Southwest. Here in Tucson, we need to conserve our water. There's better places that we can have that water used, such as drinking, other than putting it on our lawn. Now, for the folks that, you know, want to talk to you, What's the best way for them to do that? The best way to do that is just contact me either by phone or over the web. You can reach me at 520-350-6125 or they can reach us at azluxurylawnstucson.com and fill out a quick uh, questionnaire there as far as what they're looking for and then I'll be sure to get back to them right away. Excellent, well thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. My Dream Home is brought to you by Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. Patio Pools and Spas has several ways to enhance your backyard experience. From building custom in-ground pools and spas, hot tubs, pool cleaning and service, a complete renovations department, and five area retail stores to serve you. Patio Pools carries only top quality products like the BioGuard line of chemicals, top name brand swimwear, patio furniture, therapeutic hot tubs, and all your pool equipment needs. Call 886-POOL or go to patiopoolsaz.com for a location near you. Nothing beats swimming in our patio pool. A BioGuard Platinum Dealer. I'm excited to welcome to the studio T. Van Hook, CEO of Habitat for Humanity. Thank you very much for being oh, on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, I'm excited to have you. I think it's a great organization. I have a lot of friends and family who have either participated or actually had a house built by you guys. Can you tell the folks at home more about your organization? Absolutely. Habitat for Humanity Tucson has been around for about 35 years. We're celebrating our anniversary this year. Uh, we've built more than 400 homes in Tucson. This year we'll, we'll go over the 400 home mark. And I think uh, we've done a lot to impact the community. One thing I want to say about Habitat Tucson, we're a hand up, not a hand out. A lot of people think we give houses away for free. And you know if you've had friends and family that have received a Habitat house, it's a very long process to get a Habitat house. Our homeowners uh, attend classes on budgeting, how to be good neighbors, all of those things. Uh, they put in sweat equity, 250 hours for every adult living in the house, and they save money to put down a down payment. On top of that, every Habitat homeowner has a 0% mortgage. We hold the mortgage, so they purchase the house and they pay us back over time. And that's with my friends, you know, they um, worked very hard with you guys, put in a lot of time and effort that you're talking about. And it was an excellent work, you know, when it was all said and done, everything looked beautiful and they have a wonderful home that they live in now. Well, it's really important to us and it's important to our volunteers that come out that we build the best quality home in Tucson. Last year, Tucson Electric Power gave us the Bright E Award for having what they call the tightest envelope or most energy efficient house in Tucson. We're really proud of that and of the other technologies that we deploy to have the best house available. The higher quality the house, the less long-term maintenance costs, the less energy costs. So it's really critical that we're not just coming together as a community to provide a house for folks, but that we're really providing a home that they can stay in long-term. This week we are, this is our green edition of My Dream Home. Uh, we're doing an event with the uh, Marana Big Green event and really focused on green. And I know you guys, not only through your construction process, but through your rehab stores and stuff like that, 
are big into grain. You find uses for different materials that may otherwise end up in the dump. That's true, and we divert tens of thousands of pounds, hundreds of thousands of pounds of uh, things that may have gone to the landfill. Folks bring over to our uh, Habit store, which is on Grant Road, and you can donate gently used construction materials, furniture, appliances, a lot of things that people were sending to the landfill that can be reused. And we're really excited to be part of that. We're excited to now be moving our fleet to more energy efficient vehicles, to be building an energy efficient uh, product. Our Habit Store runs on solar, not 100%, but we have solar panels there that help drive the Habit Store. We collect rainwater at our sites and, and certainly in our administrative offices. We have the cisterns, we feed all of our Xeriscape vegetation using the water that we're collecting. So we're doing everything we can in Southern Arizona to really be part of that green movement and have the greenest workplace we can have. For folks at home uh, that are watching us that want to get more involved, how can they do that? There's a lot of ways to get involved, and, and we always say there's, there's no wrong thing. You can pick up a hammer. We love to have volunteers out, and we're really a volunteer-driven organization. And not just for construction, we have volunteers that answer the phones in the office, volunteers that have, help us with data entry, volunteers that serve on committees and do safety. You can always write a check, that's always welcome. Um, we do live on donations, and it's really important. We can't do what we do without those charitable donations. Or you can just talk us up. You know, We're excited to be here on your show with you today, and just talking about um, what we offer to the community. People need to be reassured. It's, it's a long process, like I said, and it, homeowners are a little frightened when they come in, and, and they should be. Home buying is scary for all of us. And then when you add low-income families that haven't always had all of the breaks in the world, it's a hard process. So we love to have members of the community encouraging friends and family to take advantage of our program. For the folks at home that want to find out more about Habitat for Humanity here locally, how can they do that? Well, I suggest two things. One is that you go to our website at habitattucson.org. You'll find everything you need to know about us there. You can volunteer. You can arrange to have items picked up for the Habit Store or get information on us. Or you can point, click, and give. You can, we take donations online. Or call us at our, our offices at 326-1217. There's always a friendly voice that can help you out. Excellent. Well, T, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. It was a delight to be here. I'm very happy to welcome to the show Ann Doherty, founding advisor at Illum Advising. Thank you so much for being on the show. It's nice to be here. Thank you for having now, me. Now, you guys have a very great company that does amazing work. Thank you. Can you, you tell the audience more about it? Sure. Um, we are a <clears throat> excuse me, research and um, design firm that supports energy efficiency programs in being more successful and making the work that these programs do more visible both to consumers and then also to the people who are funding that work. So we um, really specialize in making sure that energy efficiency is front and center in clean energy plans by, again, providing this sort of research support. Very interesting. And that's important for all of us because I know one thing that we've talked about before is we just expect that when we go and flip a light switch on that that yeah. energy is going to be there, that light's going to turn on. We don't understand that it's actually a resource that is limited in supply. Sure. That's a really good point. I mean, we are so accustomed to having everything at our fingertips, and most of that is fueled by energy. And almost everything that matters most to us in terms of our daily lives, besides the family and the people we love, are things that we plug in. You know, our phones, our computers, our lights, our stoves you know, refrigerators, we are enabled in our daily lives by electricity and by gas, natural gas. Um, however, we know so little about where that comes from. It's pretty invisible to us outside of the walls of our home. And when we do research, we find that customers tend to think about their electricity use and their energy use only insofar as their walls, like the, their walls are the limits of their knowledge often. But that power is supplied by a huge electric infrastructure that's very carefully managed by huge groups of individuals, making sure that it's always there for us. And we only know they're doing anything is when you know, the power goes out or we no longer have access to, to those resources. 
The other piece that people tend to forget or fail to see is that that power is not necessarily clean. In fact, it's very dirty in most cases. And there are some utilities uh, you know, in the nation who are doing a good job of using more renewables and hydropower and other cleaner sources, but there are still a huge number of coal-fired plants, oil being used in the Northeast, as well as natural gas, which has its own environmental consequences, if not you know, CO2 emissions that um, all need to be managed to make sure that we have a more sustainable environment. With those things in mind, is there anything that the folks at home can do to maybe be more mindful of the energy that they use? Yeah, well, I would say the cleanest source of energy is energy that's not used. And so even though we have renewables and all of these really green, very clean sources that help us, you know, offset all of that coal use and other forms, it's so important that we just use less in general because when we use less energy and use less electricity, we then preserve more of those resources for resiliency in the grid, making sure that we're able to absorb any impacts or things that might affect our ability to keep that power on. But also, um, honestly, the, you know, the cleanest power is power that's never drawn on, right? So right. Obama said at one point, I think early in his administration, that. Um, the um, cleanest fuel or the first fuel should be energy efficiency, which is use less for what you're doing. So no matter what you're doing, try to use the least amount of power and the least amount of resources to get that goal accomplished. So um, when I talk to my daughter, I try to make it clear that you know we don't have this endless supply of um, resources, that everything is finite on this planet um, and it all has to be managed. So you know, I make a point of telling her, you know, turn off the lights when you're not using it. Um, you make sure you unplug devices when you're not charging them and just to be more aware of it. And I, my proudest moment, honestly, was when she was in kindergarten and it was Earth Week and all of these kids were talking about things that they could do and they were like recycling or riding my bike to school. And my daughter was the only kid who mentioned turning off the lights or reducing their, you know, use of um, power in the home. And I thought, oh, I've, I've done my job. Well, for the folks at home that want to find out more about your company, mm -hmm. what's sure. the best way for them to do that? Um, so the best way to find out more about us is to go to our website, www.alumadvising.com. And, um, you know, if you reach out to us at info at Alum Advising, we'll get back to you. Awesome. Well, you're a fantastic company that's doing Thanks. incredible work. And thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, thank you. At Nova Home Loans, we know your home is where some of the most important times of your life take place. Poolside contests become a thing of legend. A secret hiding spot brings to life hush whispers and quiet giggles. And a fairy tale is a magical ending to a perfect day. Nova Home Loans is more than a mortgage company. We're the official sponsor of Cannonballs, Hide and Seek, Bedtime Stories, and you. I'm excited to welcome to the show Jason Matsuzawa with Nova Home Loans. Thank you for being on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. You've been on the show before, and when you were here last time, uh, you really informed the audience on some great things when it comes to you know, getting a mortgage. One thing that we didn't talk about in length is that process. Yes, that's very important because a home loan is much different than applying for a credit card or even going down to your local car dealership for a car loan. The difference is, is there's a documentation that's required to back up your application. Meaning if you say, I'm with this bank, I have this much money in the bank, you need to have bank statements that show this is what it is. Same thing with your job. You say, I make X amount of dollars per hour and I've been here for two years. Well, we need to know when did you start so we can verify that two years and also what your pay is by way of a paycheck stub and your tax returns. So that stuff is very important and is necessary to give you a good pre-qualification letter and to get you into underwriting to get your loan approved. Speaking of pre-qualification, I know that I may go out and get pre-qualified. Three months may go by and things, a lot of things can change during that three months. So when we go into closing, you're going to need a lot of that document, documentation again, right? Yes. Asset statements expire every 30 days. So your paycheck stubs, your bank statements, those have to be updated every 30 days because they expire. Your credit report actually will expire also every 90 days. So that will have to be pulled again as well to make sure you didn't go out and charge up your credit card or, you know, go buy a boat or, you know, something that you shouldn't be doing before you finish, you know, buying your house. 
And that's really important. I know that we talked about it last time. When you do get that pre-approval, it's just because you have that letter doesn't mean that it gives you free reign to go out and start buying all these things because it can put your you know, new mortgage you know, in jeopardy. Yes, because what happens is your qualification amount that you're pre-qualified for is based on your debt ratios. If you add new debt, you know, how much you owe to your bottom line, well, now you've decreased the amount of house that you can buy. So thinking about debt to income ratio and the current market that's out there, I think right now is a perfect time to buy a house. You know, the, the people are saving money from going from renting to actually purchasing a home on their monthly outgo. What have you seen lately? Yes, uh, when you compare, I got a lot of houses, you know, people buying houses, that their house payment is lower than the rent. Not to mention, if you're doing it around the holiday time, when you purchase a home or even refinance a home, you're gonna skip a month's payment. So let's say you close in September, you won't make a payment until November. So if you close in November, you're not gonna make a payment until January, which is nice because a lot of people like to go around the holidays and then they have the extra cash to use for you know, presents or you know, whatever parties, whatever they might use it for. One other thing that I found out about Nova is you guys have a department that helps folks repair their credit. Yes. You know, I know that you deal with people, whether it be good credit, bad credit. It's good to know where you are so that you can start repairing that. What are some of the experiences you've had with that and what can Nova do for those folks? Well, here's what I've noticed is a lot of people have had issues in the past. Sometimes not through fault of their own. Nothing, nobody's perfect. And sometimes we've pulled a credit report and there's something false that's on that credit report. They don't even know why it's on there. And our credit team can help investigate that. Also, let's say you've had some past problems or issues with your credit. We can put together a scenario for you to tell you if you do this, then in approximately 30 days, 45 days, 90 days, here's what your credit score will be so that you know where you'll be qualified. Um, our credit team is fabulous. I mean, to move somebody's score up, to get them in a better position so that they can qualify to buy a home to get a little bit lower interest rate, you know, by getting their credit score up, and it's a no fee. We don't, it's not a fee, anything we charge for. Really, so it's just a service you guys do because you believe if you take care of these folks, they're gonna use Nova Home Loans, right? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's an investment in them as they decide to move forward with you. Because a lot of people are embarrassed at first that something that might be a blemish on their credit, and there's no reason to be. You know, things happen beyond our control. Illnesses, accidents, you know job loss, divorce, right. lots of things happen that, you know, we're out of your control. So why not let us be able to help you and get you that better spot where you can get into a home and just, you know, breathe easy and, and feel good about it. For the folks at home that want you to, you know, help them get pre-qualified and get that mortgage process going, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Well, I'd love for them to call me. My cell phone number is 429-1973 or they can reach me through my application online at www.myarizonahomeloan.com. Fantastic. Well, thanks for being on the show. Hey, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, if you missed any part of today's show or you just want to watch it again, go to mydreamhometv.com. I'm Jody Hinkle, and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday at 8 a.m. right here on ABC KGUN 9.